Okay, so we're gonna start with the rear brake pads here and then we'll move to the front. Uh, if you're just interested in the front, go ahead and skip to the time that's right here. So to start with on the rear, we'll start by taking out this little cap screw right here. Don't lose that though. Then there's an Allen key right in here. You don't have to take this all the way out, but at least get it loose before you undo these other two bolts. Okay, I'm going to take off this one. And then this one. Okay, and then this whole thing will slide right off. And then what you can do Take this out, and these will come sliding right out. Now you have to push this back in. Use an old brake pad in there, and just give that a squeeze. Now there's a small little metal bracket right here. You don't want to lose this. I do take it off and clean it though. So we'll clean off all the inside of here and on top of here, we'll be right back. While you have it opened up here, you can also make sure that all these little moving parts in here, you can grease this up here. You want to make sure all these things are greased here, just any, anywhere where anything might, might rub. Don't smother it in grease, but you know, just a little bit um, can definitely help. Now these are only on the rear, these little insulating pads. Uh, and they also have this little metal shim piece here. Um, the front does have these, these metal shim pieces, but no insulator. So if you don't have any on the front, don't panic. They're not supposed to be on the front. Uh, but don't throw these away with your old pads, because these are important. If for some reason you don't have these, maybe you threw them out last time, because they can get stuck to the old pads and look like they may actually be part of them. But if you did throw them out, or maybe the person that owned the bike before you uh, made the mistake and threw them out, go get new ones. Don't put them in there. You can, but uh, I'm going to suggest not to. You also want to grease up these, this pin as well before you put it back in there. So then if you just sandwich these together, just like that them right in there. Hold that just like that. It usually slides right back on there. Easy as pie. You'll want to make sure that those are, are resting in there on that little plate. Just like that. Also make sure that you check the other side. Uh, back here as well. Make sure that that side is resting in there properly as well. I remember the first time that I changed these, I actually made that mistake and uh, I had this side where it was supposed to but I didn't have the other side where it was supposed to. Um, you find out real quick that it's not on there right. <laughs> Once you get those snug down, you can put this back in. small screw and there it is okay now for the front one start by taking these off Oof, Okay, so on this one, there's a little pin right here, and you can pop that out, and then that slides out, just like that, and then this comes up, and slide that one off. I'd say that's the end of that break, 
and then this one. Oh, now you gotta take these little metal pieces off. So we'll clean all this up, we'll grease these, and maybe a couple little points in here. Uh, nothing heavy, just real light. And you also want to put a little bit of grease up around this in here, as well as this one. Just like that. And then that little pin goes right back. Just like that. There's that one. This side is more or less the same, only you have your speedometer cable running down here. There's that little pin again. One thing to remember is to uh, pump your brakes up before you go out and try to ride it <laughs> because those calipers are still uh, smashed all the way down and so you've got to fill that, that space up by pumping this as well as pumping your rear brake there. So get it all uh, pump up, pumped up and tightened up before you go take it for a ride otherwise you're going to hit your brakes. <laughs> you're not going to have any brakes. These are the old brakes as you can see. There's a little bit of life left in them, but not much. That's the little wear indicator, and it's just about gone. Um, so it was time. Well, there it is. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's not something that uh, um, is hard to do, and uh, not something that should be uh, neglected, I guess, since it's <laughs> what makes you stop. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope it uh, gave you some insight and helped you out. Next video is going to be uh, bleeding the entire uh, brake system, changing out the uh, brake fluid. So, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Uh, these are only on the rear, these little insulating. Uh, in There's an Allen key right in here <laughs> that's dark alrighty let's see well that doesn't turn that way <laughs> <laughs>